Alright guys, in today's video we are once again going to be discussing PlayStation 5 full backwards compatibility and the reason why we're going to be taking some time here to talk about this is because recently Ubisoft's CEO had a few things to say about the upcoming consoles but he specifically focused on backwards compatibility. Now we do have to understand that his comment here can be taken one of two ways and so I don't want to sit here and tell you that this is pretty much confirmation that the PlayStation 5 is going to be fully backwards backwards compatible with every single generation of PlayStation because I just don't feel confident enough to say that based off of what he said. However, because this can be taken one of two ways, it is worth taking some time here to discuss what he said and this could very well, depending again on how you take it, be the first time we are seeing somebody who knows what's going to happen heavily hinting at full backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 5. But before going any further, if you are excited or you are hoping to see full backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 5, be sure to hit the like button as an easy way to let me know. Or if you think you're just going to enjoy the video and you appreciate the content, hit the like button for that reason as well. It helps tremendously. And hit the subscribe button too while you're at it. But it says here, Ubisoft boss Yves Gilmont has fueled rumors that PS5 backwards compatibility support will allow the system to play more than just PlayStation 4 titles. Following reports that the console will be compatible with PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 titles. While it's important to remember that Sony has only confirmed that PlayStation 5 can play PS4 titles, Gilmont's comments during Ubisoft's recent financial call suggest more than that. Specifically when asked about next generation systems, this is what the executive had to say. Those consoles will be running almost all the back catalog of the previous consoles. It will be something new in the industry. It will help the old generations to continue to be big consoles on the market for years to come. So yeah, that is exactly what Yves Gilmont had to say here, and as you can tell, this can easily be taken one of two ways. This can either be him referring to just the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and when he says consoles, previous consoles, that could be all he's referencing. We also do know that Microsoft, when it comes to the Xbox Series console, will have full backwards compatibility with almost... I, pretty sure every generation of Xbox console and so that's also what he could mean or this could also be him talking about full backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 5 and when he says previous consoles he could very well be including PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1. This is why I said in the beginning it really depends on how you want to read into it and when it comes to my thoughts on this Obviously, a part of me wants to really believe that he is talking about full backwards compatibility, but the truth is, there's not enough detail here based off of what he said to determine that confidently, at least in my opinion. However, I want to say that based off of everything we've encountered up until this point, specifically pointing to the patents that surfaced a while ago that proved that Sony was doing something with backwards compatibility beyond PlayStation 4 games, we just don't know what. I think it is safe to say that Sony will be doing something to a certain extent beyond PlayStation 4. We just have no idea what it will be. At least that's what I'm confident in. However, I wouldn't be completely shocked or surprised if when the PlayStation 5 is announced, we find out it's actually just going to be PlayStation 4 titles because again that is exactly what Ubisoft CEO could be talking about here when he says the back catalog of previous consoles and what's interesting about this something else I do want to point to as well before ending this video because I want to keep it short is he says it will the the consoles the new consoles will be running almost all the back catalog of previous consoles that's also interesting and I will say if there's anything here that maybe does hint at him maybe talking about older generations of consoles beyond the PS4 and Xbox One is that right there because I think people at the bare minimum are expecting pretty much every PlayStation 4 title to be playable on the PlayStation 5 but we do have to remember that Sony did come out and say themselves that they're still working on it and there could very well be like you know five maybe like five percent one percent of titles that may not actually be able to run on the PlayStation 5 for very specific reasons of course that could in fact be what he's talking about when he says almost all the back catalog but I thought this was important enough to take at least a few minutes here to go over and just inform you guys about we have Ubisoft's CEO here talking about backwards compatibility and his excitement for it. This is the first thing he says when asked about the next generation consoles, which I think is interesting because it just goes to show you that backwards compatibility uh, is going to play a pretty huge role 
when it comes to these new consoles. And so at this point, I want you guys to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about what Ubisoft CEO is saying here? Do you think that this is him clearly hinting at full backwards compatibility? Or do you think that people who think that are just reading into it way too much and he's simply just talking about PlayStation 4 games being playable on the PS5? I will be very interested to see what you guys have to say. Be sure to leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.